Mahesh. Good evening. That favorite old South African expression uh, that we've all adopted now, and that's what we're calling our new product, the Agebox. It's available in a 426 watt hour or a 750 watt hour. Probably meaningless to 80% of the people out there, but I will explain shortly. So this product is really aimed at the home office, small business type application. It could run a PC, it could run a small television and a DSTV decoder. You could have a little lamp running off it as well. It's upgraded from our Rattle product, which is another nice South African name, in that it does 220 volts, whereas the Rattles are only 12 and up to 19 volts. So it's a pretty much plug in anything that's your normal AC plug. So what I wanna do is, is unbox it tonight and show you all the bits and pieces that go with it and how they work, so that when you get one, you know how it works and where to plug it all in. So right, so it comes in this cardboard box with a handle, so easy to carry and open it up. Of course, this is the piece that you always just throw away because you don't need to read it, you know how everything works. Now, this is a little manual, it'll tell you exactly how it all works and the capacities and the specifications of it. So you've got your manual, a little bit of foam to keep it all safe, and out comes the product. Uh, let's take off this polystyrene, and I'll put it down there so that you can see the the front end of it. Great, so bottom left, we have the AC input, so that would connect to your normal plug in your house or your, your business, your building, using the standard kettle plug that we're all familiar with. Then above it, you have the AC on switch. So if you turn that on, I'll turn it on right now, it shows you that we're 100% charged at the moment. That you would turn on when you wanted to use the unit. It will charge even if that is off. Then next to that, you can also charge it from your vehicle or from a solar panel, which is a 12 slash 18 volt input. Then down here are your DC ports. So you have two 12 volt DC ports and your normal five volt USB ports. So that's to charge cell phones, the normal type of thing that we do. Top here, this might get a little bright. You have a light on it. So if the lights suddenly go out, you have this light that you can switch on and switch off. And then this switches to switch on these DC ports. So it's simply if you're not using any of the DC ports, you can just leave it off so it's not using any of the, the back Batteries. Okay, so that's the one end of the box. On the other end of the box, you have your AC outputs. So those are 220 volt outputs. And if you look at them, you will see they, they do not match any plug that you have in your house. Hence, we provide this adapter that has the normal three pin plug on it with the unit. So you can plug an extension cord or a multi-plug directly into the unit and that will give you your, your AC outputs. Right, so what's between the orange bits? You have a 400 watt pure sine wave inverter internally. That's quite important, uh, especially for newer TVs, CPAP machines, which unfortunately a lot of people are using nowadays. Modified sine wave inverters give you a square wave so they can sometimes upset those electronics. So this has a pure sine wave inverter, which is uh, substantially better. It also has 115,200 milliamp hour lithium ion batteries internally. They will do roughly about a thousand cycles, which is a lot. You know, once you've used this a thousand times, complete discharge it will be fairly long in the tooth, but you can have the batteries uh, replaced by us at that point in time. It's fairly light, it's about four kilos and quite robust. This is a aluminum chassis, the ends are plastic. Right, so this is what we call the kettle plug, kettle socket. And it plugs in here like that. The other end is your regular three pin plug that goes into your socket in the wall, which I'm gonna do now. All right, now I'm gonna show you what happens on the other end of the box. This adapter, which you're familiar with those three pins, but those are Euro pins. This has a Euro socket on it. This would plug in over here and then you would plug in your regular adapter or multi-plug in there, and that would go off to your devices, whatever they may be, television, computers, whatever it may be. As you can see, there are two, but typically what people do is use a multi-plug on here. Okay, so your regular three-pin plug in here. Obviously, you've got this is a two-pin Astro three-pin adapter. You can also put a two-pin in there, so it's it's pretty flexible. But these are your AC outputs, so they go to your devices. Just remember that piece. Great. So let's turn our DC ports on. Now you can take a normal USB, plug it in, charge your cell phone, whatever it may be that you want to charge. That's got the normal five volt USB. We also provide you with a DC to DC cable. That's got the 5.5 millimeter DC plugs on it and they plug in here. These can connect to a router 
or if you have a lamp that you're in the bush and you want to charge, typically these kinds of connectors, it can do that. Then we have another DC device, the good old familiar cigar lighter. Uh, so if you need to charge the box and you do not have mains, but you have a car, you plug this DC plug into the unit and you plug that into the cigar lighter socket of your car. Alternately, the same port that you use for the car charging can be used for solar panel. So you can take from 50 to 100 watt solar panel and plug that in there and the unit will be charged. But it, it does take a long time if you use a solar panel, it will probably take six hours. So during the day, you would use most of the daylight hours to, to recharge this. It's not fast, but it does get the job done. And you probably won't deplete, deplete the batteries if you're not putting too much demand on it during that time. Okay, so great. So you've got this now plugged into the wall. Perhaps you've got your router and your, your laptop and you're working from home, or maybe you've got a desktop PC and the power goes off. What happens? Nothing, because it seamlessly switches over in 10 milliseconds to give you instant backup power. So it's seamless. You don't see it. You don't know it's happened. Those things that are plugged in here, they won't even know that they lost power momentarily. How long will it last? Well, if you just have a laptop and a router plugged into it, a router typically uses around about 15 watts. Laptop is about 60 watts. So you've got 75 watts there. Divide that by 426 and you'll see you've probably got five to six hours with a, a regular laptop. Your PC with a monitor and your router, you've probably got four to four and a half hours, depending on the size of the PC. Some of these big gaming PCs are going to eat this thing alive in a half an hour because they are, you know, seven, eight hundred watts. Uh, so it does depend on what you're running on it. Do not run things like drills, hair dryers, things like that. It cannot take that, what we call inductive load. So something that surges with a load, you do not want to run that off this. It's going to just trip out. It won't damage it, but it will just keep tripping out and become very, very annoying. So you've got to use this for the lighter essential devices, what it's intended for. Right, so applications for the H-Box. Obviously, uh, standby power, as I said, in home or small office. Great also for camping, very, very portable. So if someone you know has a, a power failure, you can help them out if you have power and they don't. Uh, you just pick it up and off you go. But also, we are seeing some longer power outages. You know, we all kind of a little bit uh, obsessed with load shedding, but we have other power outages, lots of maintenance issues, cable theft, and sometimes those outages are a lot longer than the two to four hours that we normally see with load shedding. So what happens if you have a backup system and the power's out for eight hours? This has got solar input, so you just have to put a solar panel into it and charge it up. And if it's during the day that you're using it while you're working and you have a plugged into a solar panel, it'll keep it charged up. So quite versatile from, from that perspective. Pricing, 5255 for the box XVAT. We will be running a special, just over 5,500 Rand, including an 80 watt solar panel. Uh, that comes with all of the cables and all of the bits and pieces. But typically the previous products that did this sort of thing would have been much larger, sort of this size with a normal, you know, car type battery in them, lead acid battery, and they wouldn't have had the solar capability. So it's, I think, really, really good value, a great, great product for, for all of us working at home right now.